this is uh, Ben Wager. Uh, ben, pleasure. Pleasure. And this is Morris Robinson. Hey, man, how you doing? Uh, no, no, Morris, uh, you've already actually died in the opera tonight. Dude, it, the funny part is I go out and I die within the first five minutes, and I have about two hours off, so uh, I get to go back and be myself, become Morris, listen to YouTube on my computer and kind of hang out. <laughs> this and, guy. And uh, your role here uh, is a little bit difficult because uh, your fiancé was already stolen by uh, Don Giovanni. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm cuckolded almost as quickly as he, he's killed <laughs> off. So... <laughs> Uh, but I don't have as much time off. I have to go back and redeem myself. Uh, and Morris, uh, you're out of costume right now, but this is interesting. A lot of people may not know this, but uh, you played uh, college football at the Citadel All-American? Yeah, I was a two-time All-American office of guard in college. It's, you know, it's a natural carryover from football to opera. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, you got to be the only guy on your team that went to opera, maybe the only guy in all of uh, college football. How do you make that transition? Did you know you were going to go into opera? I'm actually one of about two. Keith Miller also played some ball, uh, and he's a bass also. And I, I don't know. I think that... Uh, you know, all, all athletes have interest in music. I mean, Alan Iverson made a rap CD, yeah. Shaq does. Uh, uh -huh. And all these guys want to do music. It's like the two loves of their lives. And I was just fortunate enough to be able to be good enough to do it, you know, at this level. So, yeah. Well, it was a pleasure to meet you both. Thank yeah. you for your time here. Thanks and we're, we're going to hang out this way. We're going to go into uh, some call us the green room. It's officially called the Briarly Encore Suite. And uh, meet some of the uh, uh, actors and actresses over here. And, uh, oh, here, <laughs> here are some folks over here. That see, th you never know what's going to go on uh, backstage here. We're and th th we have a wardrobe malfunction. Well, we want to be part of that here. Uh, and these two performers, this is their first time performing in, in Dallas. Is that yeah. correct? Yes. Hi, I'm Georgia Jarman. Uh, Georgia, pleasure to meet you. This is oh. Mirko Palazzi. Yeah, Mirko Palazzi, nice to meet Mirko, you. Mirko, a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and, and welcome to America. This is the yes. first time you perform in the yeah. United States? Yeah. Yes, it's the first time. And, uh, and I understand, now a lot of people may not realize this, but uh, there are no microphones that are used on stage here? No, I'm always really surprised actually when people say, oh, I could, I could hear you so well because, you know, we don't, we're not mic'd at all. We're singing over an entire orchestra mm -hmm. and for thousands of people. And so that's part of what opera singing is all about. So, Mirko, is this your first time in Texas? Yes, it's the first time also in Texas. The first time of the role and the America, Texas, the theater, all first time. And his oh, favorite first. thing is hamburgers. <laughs> yes, I love, I love hamburgers. <laughs> now, where do you like to go in Dallas for? Have you been somewhere special for a hamburger yet? Yeah. Yeah, yes, different places. It's different places. Okay. Yeah. Well, welcome to the United States. It's a pleasure to have you, and nice to meet you backstage. And I'll nice let you get back to your wardrobe you. malfunction. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Okay, we're going to head this way because uh, I see someone very special over here uh, backstage, and this is uh, Stephen Costello. And see if we can interrupt him for a second. Uh, Stephen, can I have a, a second of your time here? Sure, how are you? Uh, Stephen actually performed and starred in Moby Dick, the opera, and that was the world premiere of that opera last year here at the Winsphere, Wins correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, about four or five months ago, I believe it was, and um, it was incredible. I mean, it was the first time for me to be part of a world premiere and be part of a, of a creative process of a new of a new opera. And actually, we there's some some guys that were supers in that show. There's supers in Giovanni, and we've been hanging out every night since I've been here, and it, we kind of formed a family during that show, and it was it was a great experience, fantastic. Now you're back in Dallas for a very special reason. Yeah, I'm back in Dallas singing Ana Belena, and um, we open next Friday. Yeah. And I'm actually here with my wife as well, who's singing um, Zerlina in Don Giovanni. Oh, wow, fantastic. Well, it's yeah. a pleasure to see you backstage, and we'll see you next weekend. And thank you for your time. Let's see if we can go out and uh, catch some folks in their dressing room. In fact, I think we might be able to catch the star of the show in his dressing room, uh, Paulo Schott. And, uh, yeah, come on, let's go this way. He is the star of the show. Uh, of course, he's Don Giovanni, and uh, you never know what's going to happen backstage. Hello? Oh, no. No, no. Oh, hey, 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 Paolo. Pleasure. Don Giovanni. Hey. You're welcome. Come on in. Come in. Bring the cameras in if you don't mind. Uh, wow. Uh, Hello. Practicing with a little piano back here. Did you yeah, request this or is this uh, it's always in the stars room? The piano. I don't know. I didn't ask for it. It was <laughs> here, so I wouldn't complain. Uh, in. Uh, if I can congratulate you on your Tony Award. Thank you. Thank I, you. I have had the opportunity to meet uh, one other person who won a Tony Award, so you're the second person, so it's quite, quite a thrill. Uh, uh, Paolo was in South Pacific. That's right, you know, and the Tony was a big surprise for all of us, and uh, certainly for me. Mm -hmm. um, now, Don Giovanni, would you describe him as a, a bit of a bad character? or uh, I mean, it's fun to play, is it not? Lots of fun, but he's totally a bad guy, yeah, he's a terrible guy. But well, we all want to be a little bit like Don Giovanni, do we not? I think he, he <laughs> teaches us many things, you know, he was not, not just a seducer, he was the master of seduction, so, yeah. so it's, it's really nice to play it and to learn a little bit of, of it with it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, is this your first time performing in Dallas, is that correct? That's correct. It's my first time in town, and I am loving this town. It's a great town, sunny, everything's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me ask you uh, this. What do you think of the Windspear, the it's Opera House? It's a wonderful theater, you know. I heard so much about this theater, but only when we get here and we hear this, this acoustic, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, and, and besides that, it's so beautiful. Uh, now, uh, I understand also you performed recently at the Met, uh, Rave Reviews, and the production was called The Nose? The Nose. It's yeah. about a guy who loses his nose. <laughs> so it's a little different than Don Giovanni. But it was, it was a, it's a Shostakovich piece, very difficult musically. It was my debut at the Met, and uh, everything went well. So, so I'm happy for that, too. And if I can ask one favor of you, yes. uh, when you are done with this production, can I borrow this outfit? Because that is awesome. You look good in it that. Isn't that awesome? It's, <laughs> I think it's the best outfit of Don Giovanni I ever had in my whole life. You know, it's so amazing. And uh, John Pasco designed this, this, this uh, not only the, 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 the costumes, but the sets and everything. I think it's one of the most wonderful productions of Don Giovanni I've been to. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, and uh, I'll let you get ready for uh, the second act. Thank you. And. Uh, uh, do well, I guess. Welcome to Dr. Biden. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, we are going to head on out this way and uh, go to one of the costume areas here and meet some of the performers as they're getting ready with makeup and costume. We're going to meet, uh, uh, oh, there's, there's Mirko again. <laughs> See, when you come backstage, you don't know what you're gonna, what's going to happen here. This is, uh, this is all live. So let's go back to the dressing area here. And yes, okay, we're gonna go in here. We're just gonna, we're gonna interrupt some folks here. Uh, hey, you mind if we bring in a camera in here? This is live uh, backstage and uh, meet some of the performers. You are? Yeah, Jonathan Boyd. Jonathan, pleasure. Pleasure, pleasure to Hawkeye. Meet you. Night, Hi, Hawkeye. Uh, okay. And oh my gosh, look at the, the intricate detail here. Uh, and you are Eileen? Um, I'm Claire. Claire. Oh, I'm Rutter. Claire, I'm sorry. There's Eileen, I'm sorry. I see. Claire, uh, and Claire, uh, explain your role. Uh, I'm Donna Anna. Mm -hmm. um, I am the girlfriend of Don Otavio. He was mm. sitting right next to me here. Jonathan. Are you a good girlfriend or do you, you wander, <laughs> don't you? I'm a nice girl. You wander. No, do you no, not no, wander? No, no, no. no <laughs> never. Not me. No. <laughs> I'm very faithful. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Eileen Perez over here. Eileen, pleasure to meet you. So excited. And uh, tell, us, tell us uh, a little bit about your role our, our, and uh, your interactions with Don Giovanni. Sure, my role is Derlina, and Don Giovanni pretty much has this mysterious magic and also um, a beautiful wedding gown, and uh, he wants to wed me, so he proposes to me, and of course, I say yes. And that's an exclusive peek on what goes on backstage at the Windspear during Don Giovanni. Don't forget the performers are going to come outside on the Annette uh, Strauss Square afterwards for an encore, so please stick around. Uh, they would love to, uh, to say hello to everybody and, and to hear your applause. So we're going to let these folks get ready for act number two of Don Giovanni. Thanks for your time backstage. I'm Hawkeye, and we'll see you after the show. <laughs>